Coming to America soon. In Luke chapter 21, verse 9, he tells us you will hear of wars and commotions, but do not be fearful of what's to come, because these things must come to pass before his return. So this is just to make everybody aware. He already said that nation will rise against nation and kingdom versus kingdom. But then later on in chapter 21, verse 34, he says that we need to take heed. We shouldn't be focused on partying, drinking, and the cares of this life so that we can be ready whenever the day comes unexpectedly. And he says that it will come as a snare upon everyone who dwells upon the earth. So we always have to be watchful and praying so that we may be counted worthy to escape all of these things that must take place. And in Psalm 91, he says, he who dwells in the secret place with the most high, those that seek refuge and fortress in the Lord and put their trust in him he'll deliver them from the snare of the fowler also protect us from the perilous pestilences that are coming about COVID and monkeypox have started back up so he tells us not to be afraid of what's to come so in the dream I was surrounded by complete strangers and I was at this party at this house outside in the yard and everyone around me was just eating drinking dancing you know having a good time and then out of nowhere the host of the party he got on the mic and he said they're coming it was like an announcement. He got off of the stage and started walking through the crowd. And as he passed in front of me, I stopped him and I asked him, what did he mean? They're coming. And he said, the people with the guns. And he had passed me up into the crowd. So I continued to just walk around and observe and everything. And then a few minutes later, he came back and he said, they're here. And everybody started looking around confused. And then gunshots started ringing out. And you started seeing people fall to the ground and people were screaming and everyone just took off running in different directions. As soon as I started seeing the bodies hitting the ground, I took off running the opposite direction. So I got to the end of the driveway and there was this fence leading into the next yard. And so I looked over the fence because I was going to jump the fence. So I run around the fence to get to the next yard and they had gunmen running from that direction too. I saw two more. So I had turned back around and I went the direction I had just came and I bumped into this young dude. He was about 18 to 20 and he pulled out this gun on me trying to shoot me thinking I was one of the enemies, but we were both just running for our life. We were both just bystanders, but we wrestled with each other over that gun because I didn't want him to shoot me and I grabbed the gun out of his hand. And so the guy was like, don't shoot, don't shoot shoot and i was like i'm not gonna shoot but you don't shoot me either and he said okay okay and then i handed him the gun back and he took back off running and i went back the direction i was going and i knew that we both was just trying to make it out of there alive because there was bodies bleeding out all over the ground surrounding us in this yard so i keep going and once i was about to turn the corner i heard footsteps coming from around so i was looking around trying to see what can i do what can i do where can i go and there was nowhere to go so i just dropped to the ground on my stomach and i laid there and i played dead like i had to really think on my feet and think fast so i just turned my head away so he couldn't see that i was still alive and breathing and i was trying to hold my breath so a few seconds passed i could still hear the footsteps getting closer and closer until it was right above me so now i'm just holding my breath still and like i'm running out of air so i woke up and i could not breathe like i was actually holding my breath in real life because the dream was that vivid and that's what caused me to wake up because i was actually running out of oxygen in the real world of course, my heart was beating all fast and I was realizing like that was all a dream. But he allowed me to experience that and witness that terror because whenever the elect is on earth, even though we're going to be protected, we're still going to be witnessing death and all the terror that's going on in the world. Psalm 91 verse 7, it says, a thousand may drop dead right next to you or 10,000 may fall right at your side, but nothing bad will happen to you. That's why it's so important that we repent and turn to Jesus in this time because you want to have that coverage whenever the judgment is coming on earth. And along with the war, there's going to be a family in America, so just make sure y'all are racking up on non perishable foods. And All right, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Barakatan to you, brothers, this is how I'm teaching this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, and uh, this video, you know, uh, is about. Uh, this guy who had a dream, you know, and, uh, you know, he had a dream about like basically Jacob's trouble, you know, and, uh, he kept like one, one situation he described in the video was, uh, he, uh, ran into a dude and, you know, the dude was about to shoot him. So he started fighting him for the, for the gun, you know, and then, you know, he, he, he got the gun and he basically got up out that situation, you know, and and before that, he said he had ran, he ran down the yard and he was about to hop the fence or go over the fence. But he seen that there was two, um, 
two shooters coming from that direction. So he ran back, you know, and then he ran into the dude with the gun, you know. So basically he was just, you know, running into uh running into problem, <laughs> running into an, you know, in a situation after a situation, you know. And you know, in the day of the Lord, when it, in Jacob's trouble, if, if the Lord not with you, man, ultimately you're not going to make it up out of those, uh, you know, up out of those situations. And so, this is Amos chapter five and verse eighteen: "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, that the, the desire the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai." Okay, to what end is it for you? Okay, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay, so when Jacob's trouble do uh, happen and and all hell breaks loose, you know, and they have and they declare martial law, okay, and uh, and they put these different troops out here, you know. Ultimately, it, 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 it's just gonna be just as the Lord describes it, man. It's gonna be Jacob's trouble. OK. You know, all you other heathen are going to get fucked up, too, you know, but it's going to be Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and as this is verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion. And a bear met him. OK, and that's what like, that's what uh, this dude was basically describing, you know, in this dream that he had, you know, he was running. He he's running. He's seen the bodies dropping, so he ran in the opposite direction, you know. And just as he was about to uh, hop the fence, he seen two more shooters coming towards him, so he ran back. And now he got a fight with this dude over a gun because he was about to shoot him, you know. And that's exactly what this scripture says: as a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him. You know? So after you get out of that situation, damn, now you got to go deal with this shit. And uh, to go on, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, you know? So after you escape, you know, you escape the two dudes running from the field. You escape the dude that you fought for the gun. And then just when you think you fucking made it and relaxed, boom, a fucking snake come out of nowhere and bite your hand now it's, and you know it's poisonous now now you you know you gotta sit there and suffer and wait for the venom to kill you you know this that's what the day of the lord is going to be like man you might escape this situation escape that situation then boom some you know finally get you you know and you're not going to be able to, to escape unless the lord is with you man Okay, and uh, this is verse 20. So not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. Okay. And uh, let's get. Uh, this is uh, first Peter. Chapter four and verse 17. Okay. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it. <coughs> and if it be first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? You know, so for you people, that, you know, and, and the scriptures speak how the day of the Lord is going to sneak upon you as a thief in the night. OK, and it's, it's going to do that because you people are worried about partying, you know, you people are are worried about going out to eat and, and getting drinks and you're not watching the signs that the Lord is giving you, man, that, th this, that this place is Babylon the Great, okay, and it's about to go down, okay? Now, uh, I'll read that again. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear so you know the hopeful 144,000 elect is going to be scarcely slayed, saved you know the brothers that's out here doing you know doing the work you know faith believing 
you know, following the commandments to the best of their abilities. And it's even, you know, it's not even a hundred percent sure that even with doing all that, that you'll still make it, you know? So where will the, the, the ungodly sinner appear, man? They have no fucking hope. There's no fucking chance for them, man. And this is, uh, let's go back to Amos. Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and, and people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? And, and you know, that's speaking on... on <sighs> Because the Lord, man, when this shit gets to, get to happening, people are going to, you know, I don't want to say, uh, you know, Earth Pig. I got that name off Elder Malcolm. That's what they call uh, so-called Jesus, okay? Earth Pig, you know? When shit gets to happening to people, left and right, people are going to be calling on, on uh, you know, on Jesus and on God. But, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is the one that did it, man. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing but revealeth his secrets unto the servants, his prophets. And that's what he's doing. The prophets are out here prophesying the downfall of America, prophesying what's exactly about to take place in, in, uh, in Jacob's trouble, you know. And you people don't want to listen. You people are too concerned, you know, too concerned with the world, basically. You know, all hell's about to break loose and, and here you are, you know, eating fucking, it's a sale on fucking crab legs at Kroger's. <laughs> that's what you, that's what you worried about, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekak, 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 Wadash, you know. And may the may the Lord destroy this place swiftly, man. I'm tired of this fucking place. All right, Shalom.